Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rohit Ranade. I am a consultant gynec oncologist, robotic surgeon and a peritoneal surface oncology surgeon at the Narana Health City in Bangalore. The topic of today's discussion is the newer treatments in ovarian cancer. As you all know, ovarian cancer is one of the diseases which in which we are seeing an increase in the incidence, not only just in India, but also across the world. It is one of the cancers which is very difficult to treat as majority of the cases present to us in advanced stages. Now, the, there have been some advances in the treatment primarily because of uh, multiple years of research and development of technology and which can help us in making the life our, of our patients a little better. The first advance is known as a new surgical technique called as a cytoreductive surgery and hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy or HIPEC. So what does this mean? This means that the patient undergoes a more aggressive surgery where the entire lining of the body which is called as the peritoneum uh, is removed. Now why is this removed in ovarian cancer? Because ovary is a peritoneal organ and we believe that the cancer from the ovary spreads all the peritoneum surfaces. So this involves an aggressive surgery where the entire peritoneum of the body is removed along with that the uterus is removed, the ovary is removed. In addition to that, whatever the surfaces where the disease is involved is removed. Now, after the disease uh, removed, there uh, a chemotherapy is administered at a higher temperature and a higher pressure. Now, why is this done? To give chemotherapy at higher pressure and higher temperature, the penetration of the chemotherapy inside is much better. Now, all of this means that the response of the patient to treatment is much better and this means that we are improving survival because of that. Now, the HIPEC involves a specialized unit. Uh, it involves a very good surgical effort as well as uh, the good trained medical oncologist to be involved in the care. It also involves a good anesthesia team as well as the intensive care unit team and other supporting systems like a good nutritionist, a good physiotherapist is something which is very, very important. So overall, it's a good team effort which is needed so that the patient can be benefited. Now, there is another form of treatment known as PIPAC or pressurized aerosolized intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Now, this type of treatment is offered in patients who are metastatic in which the cancer is spread who are not amenable to surgery. That is, surgery is not possible in these patients and also after two to three lines of chemotherapy who have progressed or who are not showing any response to multiple lines of chemotherapy. In this, what is done is a laparoscopic port is inserted and the chemotherapy is instilled inside the abdomen at a higher pressure and a higher temperature. Now, this is the chemotherapy acts on the cells more better as you are giving chemotherapy locally and it helps to keep the disease under check. This is one of the new promising treatments which is available and this is definitely known to improve the progression free survival and improve the lifespan of the patient. Now another third treatment which is definitely coming uh, into practice and is quite widely used is the use of targeted therapy. Now what is targeted therapy? Now you have something called as a generalized chemotherapy and you have something like a targeted chemotherapy. So targeted chemotherapy means that these the drugs act on the particular target organ, that is they act on the particular receptor. A common example of this is the form of drugs called as PARP inhibitors. Now, so these are special kinds of drugs which are available in the market and they act best on patients who have BRCA mutations. So now you know that uh, about 20% of patients with ovarian cancer have a mutation called as the BRCA BRCA1 or the BRCA2 mutation. In patients who have these mutations, drugs of like PARP inhibitors like Olaparib or Rukaparib or Niraparib definitely have a survival advantage. In fact, in trials, if you see, uh, no targeted therapy has offered such a survival advantage as what the PARP inhibitors have offered in these patients. These all drugs are available in the tablet form, so they can be used as a maintenance therapy. Patients can take them at home. They need not come to the hospital to take. They relatively have very few side effects. So they are very well tolerated in patients and they definitely improve the survival of these patients. Thank you. 